Anthony Scaramucci, he is an executive member of President-elect Trump's transition team. He loves to come in and give us the real story. So what is going on here? Eric Trump had a charity yeah. in his name. He's going to stop raising funds for that charity or the charity is going to shut down altogether. What's happening? Well, the charity is going to shut down altogether. So it's a sad day for St. Jude Medical Center. It's a sad day for charitable giving in that way. And so unfortunately what's happening in our society now is that we're very polarized politically. We've got accusations of mudslinging going on both sides, and so Eric is doing the appropriate thing here, getting ahead of this thing proactively before his father becomes the president. But let me stop you there, because some people are going to say that he's not actually getting ahead of it, that there may yeah. have actually been I, something I watch, more there. I watched Jim's report, and so I, I really don't think there's anything more there. Yeah. I think what happened is pre-presidency, come on a bear hunt with me and my brother, pre-presidency, have lunch have with, yeah, have coffee with my sister who, who wouldn't want to have coffee with Ivanka Trump. Because that's really what raised and, the scrutiny of uh, all of this. Yeah, but that, all that stuff was happening, totally acceptable, Donald J. Trump as a business person. But now that he's going to be in the American presidency, uh, the legal team's coming in there and really has to ring fence and shut down these efforts. And so for me, Sandra, and you and I know each other a long time, it is a sad day because Eric Trump has been at the bedside of children that have died from childhood cancer. Oh, I mean, it, Eric Trump has also participated in the miracles that we've seen where children have survived at St. Jude because of the money that's been put there to help those children. And so that's going to stop. And it's going to stop for those children because of the politicalization or the politicization, or however you want to say it, of the system. And so it's a sad day. Okay, and, and, and we have heard from his friends, people close to him, said it, it pains him to do this. He's been raising money. He's a phenomenal, money phenomenal guy. For this charity I, I, I've since told he was my children, years old. may they have the arrogance of the Trump children, okay, so which is zero arrogance. What did you make to the comparison, uh, the comparison to the Clinton Foundation? Yeah, it's unfair. We all know it's unfair, and I, I don't want to channel Kellyanne Conway, but you have to think about the, the Clinton Foundation. He had 94% of it raised. It didn't go anywhere. 6% of it went out. Uh, he did a 98.2% uh, drive-through to the St. Jude Medical and Center. By the way, so, so we're talking about so, the Eric Trump Foundation yeah, being compared exactly. to... What about the Trump Foundation itself? Where does that stand? You know, I don't know super amounts about the Trump Foundation, but my guess is knowing Don McGahn as well as I do and knowing the president-elect as well as I do, they want to give the appearance of no impropriety whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So when that press release comes out and Mr. Trump is standing at the podium answering these intensive mm -hmm. questions from the mainstream media, uh, you're going to get all these answers, Sandra. I think people, the American people are going to be very happy with this family. All right, so this it's a world-class group of people. Breaking news to you because the president-elect has been tweeting away, and he just tweeted this a few moments ago. The so-called A-list celebrities are all wanting ticks to the inauguration, he says. But look what they did for Hillary. Nothing. I want the people. Mm -hmm. That just I mean, happened. That's a great... Uh, you know, you know, and you know what's great <laughs> about these tweets. You know when it's really him tweeting versus yeah. like some communications effort by our communications team. So, my guess is he really tweeted that. I talked to Sean Spicer as you just saw <laughs> earlier, and yes, he does most of the tweeting. Okay, well, I think it's one of the most effective tools ever. He's coming right over the top of the mainstream media, directly to the American people, and also the American people know when he's tweaking the media. Mm -hmm. And so when he says things, and I've said this before, Kellyanne has said it, he says things symbolically that really the supporters love, and the mainstream media takes Which literally and they go crazy. Which celebrities want to go to? His, I'm trying to figure out who that might be. I don't know. Well, one of them was probably Andrea Bocelli, right? Ah, you know, okay. I think that the, there's a, it's a big backlash. I really think right. that the message for everybody is unification. He's going to be our president, and he's doing a phenomenal job of trying to bring the country together. And so let's go enjoy one of the greatest historical celebrations for the United States, a peaceful mm -hmm. transfer of power mm -hmm. of the most powerful position in the world, Sandra. How okay. about that? Anthony Scaramucci, always Merry good to Merry Christmas, happy Christmas. Hanukkah, yes, always great to things. you as well. Happy Kwanzaa, holidays. happy Kwanzaa. <laughs> Merry, Merry, happy, happy. Thanks. Come